Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, The Star in Your Child. If you're looking for sustainable results from your special buddies, our gifted child, this channel is for you to get all the encouragement and tips. You are not alone, along with you a million others. We together will rock it. So considering the current scenario of uh, coronavirus and uh, taking forward my series on pregnancy, I think it is ideal to talk about pregnancy and coronavirus. To clear the air around this, with us we have Dr. Anju Hazari. Dr. Anju Hazari, MD, DNB, FRCOG, London. She is consultant, obstetrician and gynecologist, over 20 years of experience. She visits Surya Hospital, Santa Cruz West, Cloud9 Hospital, Malad, Criticare Hospital, Andheri East and West. She specializes in high-risk pregnancy, infertility, gynecology problems like fibroids, ovarian cysts, heavy and irregular periods, adolescent issues like PCOS, contraception, etc. She received several awards, done original research on eclampsia, and this has been cited over 110 times in various international journals. Hello ma'am, it's Hello. indeed a pleasure to have you with us. Hi, uh, We need to clear the air around uh, pregnancy and coronavirus. I'm sure you're going to help us a lot by doing this. Sure. So my first question to you is, uh, should anyone be worried if they are planning a pregnancy amidst this coronavirus scenario? Uh, I would suggest as this is now a pandemic situation, so, and there is no vaccine, there is no treatment available. It is better to avoid planned pregnancy. Okay. And just in case someone has just come back from their honeymoon and they have no clue if it's planned. Yes. So, if it is an unplanned pregnancy, it's okay. Then um, you have to speak to your doctor in case you develop certain symptoms. If you have traveled to high risk countries, yeah. you know, China. Yes. Iran, Italy, Germany, Japan, US, okay. then you must inform your doctor and get tested. Okay. Or if you have come in contact with somebody who is come from these places, you should get yourself tested and remain in home isolation till the time doctor says it is safe to move. Okay. And this can be tested in uh, any clinic or there are no. specified places? There are only government approved labs okay. which your doctor knows and okay. she will tell you where to go for testing and you go and test yourself. Okay. Are pregnant women more susceptible to uh, this virus? Um, a pregnant woman I would not say is more susceptible but if they get this virus the okay. disease may be more severe in pregnancy because pregnancy is a immune compromised state all right so they should avoid you know getting infected as far as possible so according to you what are the precautions uh, for a pregnant woman if she's had the infection or not yeah so if she has not had infection, she will take all general precautions. At this time, they should not step out of the house. Okay. Especially avoid all public gatherings, public transport. Okay. Use uh, regular measures which we suggest that do not touch your face, okay. eyes, nose. It's our habit. Subconsciously, we keep touching our face and yes. our fingertips are source of viruses and okay. germs. So avoid doing that do thorough hand washing okay. and do not come in close contact with somebody who is having cough okay. or cold stay okay. one meter away, away from them. yeah even general cough and cold yes you need to be away from yes them. because uh, that also can come to you and that is also not good in pregnancy, pregnancy. Yeah. i will take a minute to tell how to do a thorough hand washing because repeatedly i am saying that take soap on hand rub like this and then rub on this surface, rub on this surface, between the fingers, this hand fingers, thumb, both the thumbs and most important is fingertips because they carry most of the germs. So rub on them, rub on them and then wrist, both the wrist. Okay. So that is thorough hand washing, it takes usually 20 seconds. And this is I think uh, applicable to everyone Correct. Not just pregnant women, Correct. but for any other. Very uh, true. For anybody to avoid 
infection coming to them they should do this thorough hand washing okay. especially after touching any surfaces if they have gone out once they come home they should wash their hands if at any place see hand washing with soap water is best but it is not available all the time so they can use a disinfectant which has 60% alcohol, alcohol. And uh, what are the chances of the fetus, the baby that's growing inside, to be affected if the mother is tested positive with the COVID-19? Yes. So as you know, this is a new virus. Scientific knowledge, medical knowledge is still evolving. Okay. As of now, there is no data to suggest that there is a transmission from mother to baby during pregnancy, what we call vertical transmission. Okay. So as of now, no such evidence exists. But so, it may come in future as the knowledge improves. And uh, what will be the af after effects of the child uh, born to a mother with this virus? Yeah, so a newborn may get affected, may get infected from an infected mother. In China, what they have done, they have separated mother from the baby for 14 days. That okay. is the time when vi incubation period of virus. So that has its own issues like um, you know uh, the breastfeeding is Breast a problem yes. bonding is a problem so as of now the consensus is that mother can breastfeed because breastfeed has not been demonstrated to have virus in it okay. so it is safe that way right. but the close contact with mother may give infection so for that mother should use all measures like wear mask right. Before touching the baby, she should thoroughly wash her hands with soap and water. Right. Other way for breastfeeding is to express okay. milk and give it to somebody who is non-infected who can feed the baby. Alright. So in general, right, till now we have not heard of any pregnant women getting affected? Uh, no, there have been pregnant women okay. affected in China. Right. They have been reported and some of them had early delivery. You know, if you ask me if there is any complication to pregnancy, so again it is too early to comment on that because there are very few cases. Right. Some of them had early delivery but whether it was just because of virus or because of fever they went into early labour, we are not sure. So ma'am, uh, if a pregnant woman gets cold and cough along with high fever, what should be the precautionary step and should they panic? on uh, being you know affected with know. the virus yeah so i would say not all cold cough fever is coronavirus it can okay. be ordinary flu but if they have been to a high risk area or they have been to con in contact with somebody who has traveled in those countries then they should call up their doctor and tell the details doctor will tell where they can be tested as i said not all labs are doing no home visits for that so then testing should be done. Right. In the meantime, doctor will also suggest for fever, they should bring down the fever as early as possible by doing sponging, by taking ta tablet paracetamol up to three to four times in a day okay. because fever should not remain above 100 for long. That right. is not good for the baby. So if the uh, mother is asked for isolation, how will she schedule her monthly visit to the doctor? Right. It's a good question. See, most of the times infection is just mild. Okay. Even the lady is positive. She is asked to just stay home for next 14 days. Okay. In that time, if she is having a time for scheduled visit, appointment mm -hmm. to see the doctor or sonography, etc. So what to do? It's a valid question. So she should call up her doctor and doctor will try to reschedule beyond this time of isolation if okay. possible All right. if not then doctor will time at a certain uh, time of the day okay. where minimum people are around there so she should not infect other pregnant women All right. and one more precaution when she goes to hospital she should wear mask, mask. Uh, should that be for any other women who are going out for their visits to the doctor to wear a mask and have a sanitizer in hand? Uh, sanitizer in hand is a good idea. Okay. Wearing a mask is only for those who are already diagnosed to have the disease or they are having cold cough, they should wear mask. Okay. It is not an, any type of mask, any surgical mask will help. Okay. Uh, there is this thing rumor that N95, N95. is not available 
N95 is not needed for this virus, okay. any surgical mask will do. Okay. And uh, be there a need for a pregnant woman to travel? Yes. Uh, what would be your advice to her? Yeah, first is if she's traveling, that should be only if it is unavoidable. Avoid okay. all travels if possible. And then if you are traveling again, use the same precautions for not getting the infection. That is not touching your face, eyes and nose with the fingers. Correct. Do frequent thorough hand washing and uh, keep a distance of minimum one meter from somebody who is coughing and no travel to high risk countries. High risk countries. And what should be the precaution in terms of having food outside? Yeah. Because you travel, you need to have food. Yes, and, uh, yes. that's a good either question. Either you carry from home yes, for it's how not. long? Yeah. So if you're traveling outside, eating only eat cooked meal, okay. no salads, okay. no raw food, no raw food. You should food. only cooked meat. So cooking uh, destroys certain viruses. viruses. And uh, there is a rumor that you should not eat non-veg. Okay, you can eat non-veg, but nicely cooked non-veg. And the place should be hygienic yes. before you enter. Yes, yes. Okay. So I would suggest overall next two weeks, it is best to avoid any kind of non-essential travel. Yeah. So the main point is that we get is that if uh, we are pregnant, we need to be careful in yes. uh, washing our hands thoroughly, yes. avoid going outside, especially True. in public places. True, traveling and, by public yeah. transport. Yeah. And uh, just in case we have cold, cough and fever, and uh, the fever is not producing, we need to meet a doctor yes. and get Call up the doctor, up the doctor. Uh, because uh, if you are at risk of, you are having infection, you will infect others. Others as well. Yes. Yeah. And we will have to make sure the fever does not raise more than 100. Yes, control have that your in fever. Control with sponging yes. and all. If at all the mother is having a baby uh, during the time of uh, being affected, they need to be in isolation yes. and only uh, meet during breastfeed. Right. Yeah. And uh, apart from all of this, is there a general advice that you need to give to every citizen right now who is yes. under panic? Yes. You know, to just yeah. soothe them down. I want to tell them. General advice is to avoid all public gatherings, all public places. Do not touch your face, eyes and nose. Repeated thorough hand washing. Keep a distance from somebody who is coughing. And do not panic. Do not panic. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much ma'am. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Yeah. And uh, with the panic scenario around, I hope many of their answers uh, many of your answers should have soothed them down. Thank so, you. Thank you so much for being here, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Bhakti. Thank you.